Welcome back. There it is, the bolter all painted. I'm gonna show you how to do it right here on the Evil Ted channel. some cast pieces I'm going to add for detail. But before gluing them on, I would like to paint them black first. With a paint stir stick and some double stick tape, I'm going to stick them down. Now let's spray on some Evercoat primer. I always like putting primer on plastic parts first before painting them. Helps the paint stick a lot better. I'm going to use Tamiya Black and an airbrush to paint the back onto the parts. With this fine detail, it's a lot easier to paint with an airbrush. Glue them down using Zappa Gap. Let's do the same technique to the PVC barrels. For the black base on the PVC barrels, we're going to use Rust-Oleum 2X Flat Black. For the dark metallic color, I'm going to use Automotive Duplicolors in the dark metallic. Before painting, we're going to add some screws to the gun. With a sculpting tool and a depth finder, I'm going to poke some holes for the screws. And with a small screwdriver, I'm just going to screw them in. All the screws are in place. I like it's just something simple. Adding real screws to your foam prop adds a bit of realism to it. Now, before painting, be sure to mask off the barrel mount. We want to keep that part free of paint. Now I'm going to paint the top half of the gun with Rust-Oleum 2X flat to black. For the other parts of the gun, I'm going to mix in some plaid effects chain mail and samurai sword color together. To thin down the plaid effects paint, you can use window cleaner and stir it up real good. Pour it into an airbrush jar. Now that the paint all mixed up, let's mask off the top of our bolter with my favorite frog tape. Now that everything is masked off, Let's take it to the spray booth and airbrush our metallic base coat. Let's paint the magazine with Rust-Oleum 2X Flat Black. And for the bullets, we're going to use Tamaya Gold Leaf. Since I was too lazy to mask it off, we're going to do some touch up on the overspray with some flat black Tamaya. Now for my favorite part is demasking. We're going to paint the handle grip with flat effects black. We'll do both sides. Painting the front support, we're going to use Plat Effects Samurai Color. Now let's mask off the top sight. And to cover the rest of the exposed parts, I like using plastic wrap. We're going to use the same dark metallic color on the sight. Moving the tape, be careful and pull the tape away nice and slow. Next, we're going to paint the extractor port. We're going to mask off the outside and inside edges. We're using the same dark metallic for the inside.
for the extractor port detail, we're going to use Tamaya Titanium Silver. For the Imperium symbol, we'll be using Tamaya Gold Leaf. And let's add some gold to the back switch of our gun. For the front grip, again, we're going to use Platifex Black. And we'll also use the same color on the trigger. For the barrels, we're going to do the heat bluing effect with all clad lacquers. We're going to do some aging using oil paints. I like mixing the black and brown together. And with a little vegetable oil, I like to thin it out. And I'll take my brush and work it into all the nooks and crannies. Then go back in with a dry brush and smear it all around. Then wipe off the excess with a paper towel. The aging is all done. Now we're going to add some nicks and scratches using Tamaya, Chrome Silver and a fine brush. Bolter is properly aged. Next, we're going to glue on the barrel. We're going to start with the one inch barrel. I'm going to use some Zappa Gap, glue it down. Make sure when you're gluing it down that the barrel is nice and centered. To glue on our main barrel, we're going to use Goop Glue. Apply it. Slide it on. And with a Q-tip, we're gonna wipe off the excess glue and then let it dry. Now that I look at it, I think the barrel needs some scratches on it. Now the paint job is complete. Let's seal it with Rust-Oleum 2X Clear Matte. For the laser sight, we're going to use a small mag light. Uh, it seems to be a little loose. So we're going to uh, wrap some black electrical tape around it so it'll fit a lot tighter. All right, let's slide it in place. Let's turn the switch. Ah, see? Perfect. I call this bolter done. There it is, the bolter. Uh, I have to admit, I'm really happy how this turned out. Uh, just all the detail, the painting, this all came together. Um, when I was building this, I had these parts in my shop. And if you guys have your own Greeblies, you can definitely use them. But I do have these parts available as 3D files you can download. Um, go ahead and download them. And I know what you're thinking. If you don't have a printer, what I would recommend is checking your local library. The libraries are starting to carry, public libraries are starting to carry 3D printers. And even better, go get your library card. And if you don't know how to use a printer, they'll definitely walk you through it. And if you do, all the better. Go ahead, download these guys and print them out. If you like this build and would like to see more stuff like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also jump over to my website, eviltedsmith.com and do some shopping and get on my mailing list. And also check my event page where I'll be going to next. This is one of many Warhammer things I have done. I'm looking forward to doing more. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you back next time right here on the Evil Ted channel.